In this video, we're going to create a mini to-do list that has a priority column that automatically color codes the priority of the to-do list item. You can see I'll click on the priority for paying bills. I'll start typing complete, and then it automatically fills it in as green. So we're gonna do that in this video. Let's get started. To set up conditional formatting on the priority column, I'm going to click on the column to highlight the entire thing. And then I'm gonna come up and click on conditional formatting, highlight cell rules, and then I'm gonna choose equal to. And that'll bring up the equal to dialog. So I'm gonna start off with the conditional formatting for high. So I'll type high here. And you can see it's already matched the items in the column. And the default is the light fill with dark red text, which is perfect for what we want high to be. So I'm gonna click OK. Then we'll move on to doing low. Again, conditional formatting, highlight cells rules, equal to. And then for this one, type in low. Again, it's already highlighted low in there, so we're matching it up already. And for low, I want green fill with dark green text. And I'll hit OK. Now, none of those defaults are what I want for complete. So again, we'll do conditional formatting equal to, and we'll type complete. And this time, I'm gonna choose a custom format. And that'll bring up the format cells dialog. So I'm gonna do a dark green fill, and then I'm gonna head over to font, and we'll choose color, and I want the white text. I'll click OK, and hit OK again here. And now you can see we've got everything color-coded in our priority column. So if I come here, I'll type low, automatically fills in. And that's all there is to using conditional formatting to highlight specific words in a column. In this case, we did it on a to-do list. Hope you enjoyed the video. To be notified of future videos, click on the subscribe button as well as the bell. Click the like button and of course, happy excelling.